In the text in section 3.7, he continued to talk about the uh, uh, basal series expansion using a, uh, a set of, uh, of orthogonal bases. So to do that, you need to establish the orthogonality and to divide the normalization constant. So his def uh, derivation is uh, uh, mostly uh, there, but then uh, the, the last step still need to uh, a little bit of work. So I will show, uh, show the derivation here. So um, the starting point is the Basel equation. So that's uh, equation 3.93. So let's write it down here. So it's in the form that uh, uh, a little bit different from the one in the beginning of the section. So, rho dj nu d rho. The argument is changed to this uh, x nu n times rho divided by a. Okay, and plus nu n square a square minus nu square over rho square, j nu. So the argument changes to this x nu n times rho over a. So the idea is that uh, all these uh, j nu n are the zeros of the Bezier function. And it's one, two, and three, and so on. Okay, we satisfied this one. So we, We'll use this uh, function j nu with this argument to establish a uh, of orthogonal basis, and to do that, uh, we follow the very common process. So basically, multiply the whole thing, whole equation with uh, another basic function j nu, but then uh, it's not x nu n, it's x nu n prime a different n. Okay, so. Uh, and then we'll multiply by rho also throughout. So, so we'll multiply j nu x nu n pi over a with uh, whatever here. x nu n over a. Okay, multiply here, so you multiply rho j nu n pine here, okay, but uh, you put it to the other side. So that equals to, uh, when you put it to the other side, you can write this as a rho nu square over rho square minus nu n square over a square multiply j nu X new n pi, new n pi of a j new x new n rho of a. Okay, you just put move this to the other side and multiply by rho and this function or this function. Okay, so you get that. Now you do an integration. Uh, do an integration for both sides. So do an integration d rho from zero to a of the whole thing. Like why you are taking d rho zero to a of this thing. Okay, and then for the left hand side, you can do an integration by parts. Okay. And after you do integration by parts, so the first term will be uh, rho j nu x nu n pi a over rho times, so this one times, this one times this one, so rho, so you have another one, j nu, actually d, d rho. D J nu D rho X nu N 
over a and that evaluates CO to a okay and then you minus CO to a and then the, take the derivative of that multiply by this one so d rho times rho dj nu x nu n prime rho a d rho d d rho j nu x nu n rho over a okay so this becomes this two now this the first term when you evaluate zero so you have a row here so that will um, make it zero and then when you have a here you have this term j nu uh, when rho equals a you have j nu x nu n pi and that's a that is a zero of the j nu so this will be zero so both the limit this will be zero so that one is the whole term is zero okay so so yeah the left hand side becomes this just this term now equals to the right hand side now the argument is that uh, this whole process getting this equation can be uh, changed to uh, by interchanging n and n pi so basically the original equation is n pi they multiply by this with n so basically just interchanging n and n pi so interchanging n and n pi this left hand side doesn't change for the right hand side so this factor the two vessel function multiply together when you interchange n and n pi doesn't change only this one change only the second term inside this bracket change so one is x nu n square the other x nu n pi square and then you subtract the two equation so the left hand side will be zero because uh, interchange it doesn't change and the right hand side the new square for row square term also is zero when you subtract the two because uh, this factor is unchanged and this is just uh, doesn't depend on n or n pi so all together when you uh, do this subtraction what you have is x new n square minus x new n pi square and divided by a square and then uh, now this doesn't depends on rho so you can pull it out of the integration so the rest is integrating zero to a rho d rho j nu x nu n pi rho over a j nu x nu n over a that equals to zero all right so uh you can see that when n is not in n equals n is not equals to n pi the integration must be zero okay so this integration will depends on the conical delta n and n pi and the multiply by a constant so the normalization constant is uh, evaluated by the the integration of this row d rho and both terms are the same so j nu n rho of a square so square of this one and that will give you the, the normalization constant and to get that uh, we'll go back to this uh, the vessel equation now instead of multiply by j nu we actually multi multiply by a, uh, a d d d d j nu d rho okay so uh, we'll get that one so now uh, we multiply by this so multiply by this so whatever here the the equation so you keep the one of you keep the one of a row here so you have a uh, one of a row uh, did I get one of a row right? Yeah, one of a row. And then uh, 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 
actually it's, it's actually not keeping it here. It's actually multiply row over here. Actually multiply row square. Multiply rows cancel this row square. So put put a row square in both sides. Okay, so and then multiply by d d row. So multiply a row square. So cancel with this one of a row and then multiply by d j new d row. Now it's the same argument, j new n row of a. And then uh, you have the, the other term is also the same. Okay, the other term is dd row, row dj new x new n row of a d row. So that's this sign uh, by multiply row square times this one. So you get this one. Okay. And uh, now if the, you can put the, the other, this term to the other side and multiply by the same factor when you move. So a row square, so you change the new square, new square. And minus x new n row square, x new n square row square of a square. Okay, and then multiply this j d j new x new n row of a d row to this fact function x new n row of a. Okay, move it to the other side, multiply by row square and times the uh, derivative of the basic function, you get this one. So this equals to that. And then uh, you do the same thing, you integrate from, uh, integrate from zero to a, d rho, so d rho, integrate from zero to a, integrate from zero to a, and d row. Okay, and now the left hand side, you can recognize that actually it's a, it's a total, it's a, yeah, it's a total derivative, it's a total derivative of the square of this factor divided by two. When you have square of this factor, you have two, this one, which is this one, and then the derivative of the function, okay? And so cancel with the one of the two factor. So this one, so if this one will give you just one of a two and the square of square of this factor. So it's rho dj nu d rho x nu n rho of a evaluate at zero to a. So left hand side becomes this one. Okay. Now the, when you evaluate that uh, x, x over, over zero and x over a, that will give you two uh, contribution. One is uh, when you x equals and uh, rho equals zero, this is zero because of the rho. Rho equals a, this becomes a, and this is d nu d rho evaluate x nu n. So that uh, is the left hand side. Now the right hand side you can do an integration by part. Okay. And so the integration by part for the first term. So this two will combine together. Okay. And uh, and then the, you can write it like uh, New square minus this factor j new n square rho square a square oh, divided by rho a square multiplied by j new. Okay, so uh, but this one get outside, so uh, actually. Uh, we do the integration by part. Uh, you want to combine this two first. This is because this one times d d rho of this one becomes j nu. Uh, this argument square over two. 
So, uh, so you have J and U, this rho over A square over two, over two, okay. So that becomes uh, an evaluate CO to A minus the whole, the same thing, but uh, so the square of this, uh, multiply the derivative of this one, okay. Square of this, so you have CO to A, square of this J nu, this is a square, <laughs> square X nu N of A, Okay, and then multiply by the one, there's a one half factor, one half. Okay, and then multiply by the derivative of this one, the derivative of this one only operate on this the second factor, so you get uh, a negative two x nu n square rho of a square. Again, D row. Okay, so this uh, minus cancel with this minus and two cancel with the two in the denominator. Okay, so all together, what is left is D row times the square of this one, which is what we want. This is how you get the normalization constant. So we can move this term to the other side, move this term to the other side, what you get is uh, Integrating zero to a rho d rho of this square of this factor j nu x nu n rho for a square. I'll write it like that square. It's like uh, this one, and then you move the factor to the other side. You have a square and divided by x new n square and you have the one half factor so you have a square over two x new n square and then this uh, this one evaluate rho equals to a rho equals zero is zero so rho equals to a so you have all together a square and dj new d rho and x nu n a over rho factor and evaluate a so you can basically cancel the a x nu n evaluate x nu n okay and so that is uh, a square of that one so you have a's yeah. you have a Get your a square, so this is also a square. Okay, and you can change that to a standard notation. So remember, x uh, this argument is x new n rho for a. So you have just dd rho if you uh, change to x multiply x new n here and uh, changes to uh, changes to. Uh, so x new n multiply because they're squares so you multiply the whole thing to the other side and then uh, divided by a square which is just like multiply a square here that becomes a uh, a standard f uh, notation of j j new pi so you have j new pi of uh, x new n square. The pi means that uh, you're taking the uh, derivative with respect to the argument of the function. Okay, so that is this one. So that is the one form of the normalization constant. Uh, that is uh, using the derivative of Bessel function. If you don't want to write it, it's derivative of Bessel function, you want it uh, to uh, you, uh, evaluate at the Bessel function instead. So you use uh, the recurrence formulas. So you have two recurrence formulas. One is two J nu pi equals to 
j nu minus one minus j nu plus one and then you have uh, two nu over x j nu equals to j nu minus one plus j nu plus one so you have two recurrence formula you can express j nu pi into uh, either one either j nu plus one or j nu minus one let's uh, evaluate j nu plus one as uh, in a textbook so so j nu pi uh, equals this two you can use uh, this j nu minus one to so you can write the first uh, term in terms of this one put it to the other put it to the other side so this becomes two nu over x j nu and minus this one so it's minus two of uh, j nu plus one okay now uh, what you want is j nu pi you really x nu pi okay when you do that uh, the first term will be zero because j nu is x nu n will be zero because this j x nu n is the zero of j nu. So, uh, so this one is just equals to j nu j minus of j nu n j sub nu plus one. You can put it here, okay? Because the two cancel and uh, uh, just this one equals the one put put into here. So altogether, the normalization is uh, just um, square equals to that one is uh, a square over two, and then j nu at uh, j j nu plus one plus one as the x nu n square. Okay, so that's uh, the normalization constant. Uh, and if you combine this one and that one, you can write that. Uh, so, uh, so this integration and not with the a, so it will be this, uh, this one multiplied by a uh, conical delta. I mean, I guess I should say just just forget about the factor in front. Just forget about this factor in front. Just this one, which is similar to this one, except n is not equal to n pi. So it will, will be equal to this one multiplied by a conical delta n n pi. Okay, so that uh, would be the orthogonal relation or, or the uh, with this normalization constant. So that is uh, what uh, Jackson has in the equation. So that will imply equation 3.95, the normalization condition for the Bessel series. Okay, so that's uh, this discussion.